elementary school, I always dreamed of being a singer, and I still want to be one, but now that I've grown up to be a uh, freshman, I kind of want to be more than a singer, something like a vet or a nurse or something. When I was in elementary school, I always wanted to be a superhero. <laughs> uh, but as I got older, I kind of realized I don't have superpowers. I think a successful person might look like someone who isn't afraid to come out and do what they want to do, and they try to do their best at everything. Some students are very successful, and some students are not successful at all dealing with. I think the students that are not successful, like how they grew up, their surrounding people, and the students are successful, they just try. I think that they might have like leadership things and they will take more responsibility of themselves and try to get good grades. I think a successful person is somebody who gets good grades and basically just hangs out with the right people and does the right things. They're making good choices and being healthy and not necessarily being rich because rich doesn't make you successful. I mean having a successful job, a successful job to me is something that makes you happy. To me, a successful person is a person who knows what they're doing, who respects themselves and others, and puts themselves not only first, but others also. I think a successful school looks like students all working together, trying their hardest, not necessarily making straight A's, but doing what they're capable of. A successful school to me is a school that has nice classroom, like nice to students and teachers students that will come to school and do right, do their work. Well, the principals, you probably won't even need the principal around dealing with good students, teachers helping them, students coming to class, doing good, making good grades, being at the best, doing their best. The culture of this school, I think, would be mediocre because of the kids that don't want to learn and that come here for just to come. There are the students who strive to do their best, and then there are students that are just sliding by by the skin of their teeth. And then there are the people that are just drifting in the middle, trying to fit in. Most likely it's successful because people actually try. It's only like a few people that just doesn't do what they're supposed to do. But, you know, it's always going to be that in every school you go to. So When you have failures at certain schools, that's mainly what other people will look at. They won't necessarily look at all the good things that you do. I think it's not a bad school. I think it's really actually a good school. But if we can just work on some things, I think it could be better. I think our school is in the stage of mediocre. A lot of people come to learn, but there are very few that come and pull us down and they make a, our school have a bad reputation. I think some people don't try to be successful so they can fit in with their friends. I think some people don't value success because they go home and they see that people that they're around are just cruising through life. It shows the kids that they don't have to try and that they can just give up in school. They want to be someone for their friends, just not someone for the school. Well, they're picking up the bad habits because they think that probably it's cool because, you know, their relatives or family does that and they might show a friend a perspective that it is and come to find out when they do that, you know, they're not actually happy with themselves but they're just trying to show everybody that they are and they're on top. Well, some people just don't know priorities. I mean, some people, their parents haven't taught them to put school first. If a school looks like they are expecting success and they're trying their hardest and they're getting everything done and they're not procrastinating and putting everything off, then I think it would change dramatically. 
Well, if everybody came to expect success, then you have more students that are making good grades beyond honor classes and do more, and you have more teachers that want to teach the students, and you have more students that want to learn. They would believe in themselves, and they would be able to achieve anything they set their mind to. If we expected success, it would be a more motivational area because we would all be able to go to each other, you know, we're going to get this done. We're going to succeed today. We're not going to let people or anything push us out of the way of our what we came to accomplish. I think if everyone came to school expecting success, then less te well, teachers would spend less time on write-ups and more time on um, teaching the class and I'll get it more done. At the end of the day, after everything's said and done, I feel like I'm responsible for my success because if I didn't try, there's no way possible that I could succeed in anything. But even though there may be a lot of people around me that try to distract me away from my goals, there's still, you, you can't give in to peer pressure. You have to keep striving for what you came to do. I think I should take responsibility for myself at the end of the day because sometimes I hear people complaining about is the teacher that she can't teach or she just sat there and gave us the worksheet and she didn't teach instead of blaming it on the teachers and the principal of the school when it's actually your fault. <laughs> and like people like all the students using excuses, you need to just step up and be a man or a woman about it. I see people every day making excuses for messing up. I didn't do my homework because I had a game. I didn't do this because of this, blah, blah, blah. Really, it's your own fault. You make time for that. I want to be successful because I want to make a name for myself. I don't want to follow in my parents' footsteps. I want to be my own person.